welcome back to fresh fan healthy youtube channel and today i am just talking about this whole hashtag starbucks red cup thing because i actually hadn't heard about it when it first came out and i just came across something that and i started reading articles on it and i was like honestly i'm sorry this is ridiculous i want to make a video on it because let's be honest like i proclaim that i'm a christian and I am ashamed that there are people out there that are making a huge deal about this, that are outraging. Like there's literally newspaper articles and internet articles that say Christians outrage over a red cup. And it's like, that's embarrassing. And it's definitely not proclaiming what Christ told us to. It's not living like Jesus would. And it's being ignorant of everything Jesus stands for. So let's just start talking about specifics about this whole thing and why I think it's ridiculous. And yeah, let's just get started. So every November, usually Starbucks changes their white Starbucks cup to a red holiday cup. And in the past, it's and snowflakes, snowmen, things like that. This year it is just a plain red cup. Somehow there's a controversy on it. Um, yeah, so it all started with a famous video by an American evangelist named Fernstein. He went into Starbucks thinking, saying that this was a way of Starbucks trying to take Christ and Christmas out of the holiday season. And so he was like, oh, I'm gonna get them. So he went into Starbucks, said that his name was Merry Christmas so that they had to write Merry Christmas on the cup. And then this was his response. He said, "Get he like in his video, he said, guess what Starbucks, just to, event, just to offend you, I made sure to wear my Jesus Christ shirt into your store. And since you hate the second amendment, I even carried my gun. And his video got over 130,000 likes, 380,000 shares. And he started this whole hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks campaign and saying that every Christian out there should post a photo, writing something like Christ related on their red cup. And honestly, this is why when I tell people I'm a Christian, people think I'm going to judge them. This is why people think when I say I'm a Christian that I hate everyone else that isn't a believer in Christ. And oh my goodness, it frustrates me to the greatest extent. This is what is wrong with American Christianity. And I, <laughs> I it's the most frustrating thing in the world. So this great Christian guy who is actually about to start working for Starbucks wrote a blog post that went viral as well. But this is what he said and I couldn't agree better and so instead of saying it in my own words I'm just going to read what he said. But he said, um, in his article he quoted his friend Caleb and he said, if Jesus was to walk the earth today and enter the nearest Starbucks what would his agenda be? Would he zero in on the closest employee and tell them to write Merry Christmas on his peppermint mocha? Would he then smile nudgingly at the pained barista who had nothing to do with the corporation's decision to implement a new design? Would he later boast about it all to his friends and marvel at his own moral victory? I don't think so. Let's go back to WWJD What Would Jesus Do? and kind of think about it. because if. Any of these Christians that are outraging at this red cup have read any of the Bible, they know that Jesus would not make a huge deal about this. He would not take this as a persecution against him, changing a cup and taking maybe a couple snowflakes off the cup. Um, honestly, one of my favorite Christian authors and YouTubers is Jeff Bethke and he used to say, he made a video on meekness and the word meekness, and I feel like that's what comes to my mind because he defined it as meekness is the inability to be offended. And if us Christians over this red cup actually had some meekness and had this inability to be offended, then maybe we wouldn't be making a fool of ourselves right now. Like honestly, I don't even, I don't know. It's very frustrating to me because 
all these so-called Christians, and I say that very lightly because I don't think any true, real Christian would be making any kind of a deal about this cup. So just be aware of that. Like if you're looking at people and saying, oh my gosh, that's what Christianity is about, please don't think that because it's not. Um, these are black and white moralistic people that are just trying to live a legalistic life and that's not what Christianity is about. And I wanna, I wanna make sure you guys know that because I hate when anyone sets a bad name for Jesus or sets a bad name for a Christian. Literally, this Bernstein guy called it a war on Christmas and saying that we're being persecuted as Christians. What, for a, for a red cup? Like really? I mean, if this is the biggest way you're being persecuted as a Christian is drinking your coffee in a red cup instead of a red cup with snowflakes, then I would say you're living a pretty well off life, to be honest. The guy I referred to earlier that wrote a blog post, Nate Lake, he said a great statement and I want to quote it because he said, another reason hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks is everything wrong with American Christianity is its improper, miscalculated expectation of Christian values from a non-Christian entity. Simply put, Starbucks is not a Christ-centered company. That doesn't make Starbucks bad. Like, honestly, exactly what he said. Starbucks never has been a Christ-centered company, has never said, like, oh, we are a Christian company. So why are we trying to reprimand them for having a plain red cup for Christmas. Like, I think it's festive. Like, I don't understand. Not saying that they don't have great morals and that they don't treat their customers amazingly because they have. Every time I've gone in there, I've been treated great. I've had great customer service. And honestly, I've been treated a lot of ways like how Jesus would treat me by these baristas in Starbucks. And so, I don't know. I just think it's ridiculous that people are making a huge deal about this and holding them to a standard that they never signed up for. They never signed up to be a Christ-centered brand, so why all of a sudden, when they take snowflakes off their cup, are we making a huge deal about it? I don't know. Another great Christian that is a devout Christian, um, her name is Candace Cameron Beer, made a great Instagram post, and she, <laughs> this is her quote, until Starbucks puts a baby Jesus or nativity scene on the cup while saying Merry Christmas and then pulls it because they're saying it's offensive, then we can talk. But until then, like, what's our issue? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's a red cup minus the snowflakes this year. Like, if you seen, if you see the photo that I'm putting up here right now, it's in the past, like, since 2009, there's never been anything about Merry Christmas on the cup. So I don't understand why this is a big deal right now. When I went into Starbucks actually and got this red cup today, I took a video of inside Starbucks because anyone that's saying they are anti-Christmas hasn't spent much time in there. There is literally tons of stockings everywhere. There is Christmas music playing and it has been for weeks now even though it's not even Thanksgiving. They have a Christmas blend of coffee flavor. They have all these little ornaments for sale and everything. Like, where is the anti-Christmas in Starbucks? I'm not sure. I really am not sure. I'm very confused. Also, a, as I was reading articles on this because I was so interested in it, um, the vice president of the design team for Starbucks um, said that it's, it's like a minimal design because he likes to see it as a blank canvas as like for people to paint their own story so that everyone can relate Honestly, that's beautiful. Like, I love that. I love, like, yes, it can be seen in so many ways and make people feel comfortable no matter what their story is. But for me as a Christian, I can see it as like a blank canvas. Like, Jesus wiped my dirty life clean and wiped it blank so that I could have a beautiful new life and start out new again. So honestly, I love it. Like, I think it's cool. Like a minimalistic display of a blank canvas so that everyone can relate, like write your own story on it. Like that is awesome. Like I love that. And I think Jesus would love it too. I don't think Jesus would march in and ask the barista to write happy birthday Jesus on his cup and smirk as they have to write happy birthday Jesus on his pumpkin spice latte. I just don't think that's accurate at all.
a statement from the company that I loved that I read um, from one of the articles I was reading. It says, their mission has always been creating a culture of belonging, inclusion, and diversity is one of the core values of Starbucks. And each year during the holidays, the company aims to bring customers an experience that inspires the spirit of the season. Starbucks will continue to embrace and welcome customers from all backgrounds and religions in our store around the world. That's honestly as much as they don't say that they're a Christian company, that is like the heart of Jesus right there. It's like a culture of belonging, inclusion, making anyone feel welcome, making anyone feel loved. Like that's what we're supposed to do as Christians, not outrage over a red cup. So if a red cup is going to make you outrage and make you feel persecuted, maybe you're the one that needs more Jesus in your life. So-called Christians out there are feeling persecuted and outraging over this, but I think it might be them that needs more Jesus. All this legalism and black and white and stupid outrage over little topics is what drives people away from Christianity and is probably one of the biggest reasons for atheism and it drives me insane because that's not what Christianity is about. Christianity is about being in a love relationship with an all-powerful, almighty God that is full of mercy. And just some verses that come to mind. Romans 5, 8. While we were yet still sinners, Christ died for us. So why are we hating on other people when Christ died, like, Christ died for me while I was still living a horrible life, while I was saying, screw you, Jesus, I don't need you. Christ died for me, and now, because I have experienced that gift of love from God, I'm gonna return it by outraging at other people for a red cup. Like, I just don't understand what mindset that is, or what view of Christianity that is. James 1.27 says, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and flawless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. I'm 100% positive becoming outraged at a red cup is not this, is not what God says is living faultless. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's living complete ignorance of what Jesus stood for and lives for and is for in general. So that is my say on this red Starbucks cup. Hashtag this is dumb. And I can't believe people are making a big deal about that. I'm, I'm sorry for all of you that have a bad view of what Christianity is and who Christians are because that is not who we are. That is not who Jesus wants us to be. There we go. See you guys later and subscribe if you aren't already. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. Until next time, bye guys.